today I've got three more mechanic life hacks to help you get through the day. If you didn't see the last video, make sure you go and check that one out as well. Let's see what we've got. Here's one for you. Why are my tools so rusty? The answer's pretty interesting. So this is a good one and we're probably all guilty of this. So let's say we've got to do a wiring repair inside this harness here. The temptation is to get your side cutters in there and risk cutting those other wires. Or you're going for pro level skills and you might get your Stanley knife out and cut down there again, risking the insulation on the wires. Insert this little tool here. This is a stitch unpicker. Now I remember my mum used to have these things lying around the house when I was a kid. I always wondered what they were. Turns out they can be put to pretty good use. Now if we get that in behind that loom tape there and just start to push along, look, no risk of damaging the wires. Now I did think about using the ball end first, however, you can run into a bit of a problem where the ball actually starts to stick to the tape and it's a bit hard to kind of push it through. And if you're having to kind of force it a bit harder, you can run into another big problem, which someone pointed out, in that sometimes they loop wire back around the loom for interference reasons. So they basically tune the wire so that it doesn't pick up interference from things like power lines and stuff like that. Um, what I found is that if you use this end and you're very careful with it, you can almost just keep that point at the top of the loom and, it, and it's okay if you just keep it near the surface. Um, I think if you end up like going really fast, I think that's when you're gonna run into big problems. So I think I'm gonna stick with the pointy end, but slow and careful. For the next part then, let's say we've completed our repair and you're now going to wrap some tape back around the uh, loom. What you might find is it quite difficult to get the loom tape all the way through there. Now, this is an old roll of tape and it's a lot smaller than if you just bought a, you know, a brand new one. Um, and we only just managed to fit that through there. So what we're gonna do is get a quarter inch socket, hopefully one that's kind of flat all the way down there. And we're gonna roll the tape around the socket. Now this would also work great if we just wanted to wrap the tape around one wire. We're definitely not going to get that roll of tape through there. So what we can do then is, is wrap that socket through there and get the tape on nice and tightly. The last one involves testing for leaks with your smoke machine. So we'll connect that up. We've got it connected into the intake there. This probably works better for very tiny leaks. I didn't know that this rocker cover was so bad. I mean, listen to this. However, the little life hack is still gonna work. So let's turn on the smoke. And what we'll notice is that it can be quite difficult to detect the smoke with a torch. I mean, I know this one is pretty bad and we can actually see that there. But what you can use instead is a laser. And look at that, you can see all the smoke coming through on the laser. So if you had kind of a small leak that was kind of hard to see and you suspected where it was coming from, you could just point the laser at the little areas to see if there was a little bit coming out. Of course, if there wasn't any smoke, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see the line. And then in the smoke, we can see it. That was pretty impressive. So I can't take credit for any of these mechanic life hacks. So if you've got any other ones that you think we should share on the channel, then leave them in the comments below and we'll make sure we include them next time.